What's up guys, today Neural DSP are releasing a brand new plugin that covers everything from spanky cleans to gritty breakup to, well actually that's about it this time. This is not another Neural plugin that's aimed at metal players like the last few releases have been. This one is for those of us who love the tone of old vintage tube amps that are of course great for blues guitar playing. I've been using my Neural plugins for about 95% of my videos over the past year or so, and pretty much all of them, bar the Corey Wong plugin, are marketed towards progressive metal or hard rock players. But that being said, I have been able to get a ton of different tones out of all of them to suit genres beyond the ones that they're influenced by. This is the first time since I've been working with Neural that they've dropped something that is actually aimed specifically at the blues market. I mean, I'm guessing that's their target market here. And I think that a lot of blues players out there who are traditionalists or purists in terms of the gear that they use, I think a lot of them are gonna come around to using plugins for home recording after trying this one out. And by the way, all of the presets demonstrated in this video, along with a free trial of the plugin itself, can be downloaded via the links in the description box for free. So what is this new plugin? It's based on the Tone King Imperial Mark II, which is a boutique combo amp that was designed to capture the essence of 50s era Fender Tweed amps. As with all neural plugins, this one comes jam-packed with features including a wah pedal, a compressor, two overdrive pedals, the amp itself has built-in spring reverb and tremolo as well as an attenuator. The cab sim comes with eight microphones, two speakers and room microphones as well. In addition to all of that, you also have a nine band graphic EQ, a chorus pedal and delay and reverb. Also, it's worth noting that with the attenuator, there's a switch that allows you to compensate for lost high end when it's activated. And you can also have it set so that the attenuator is bypassed when you're using the rhythm channel, which will help to compensate for a difference in volume when switching between the rhythm and lead channels. Now, I'm not gonna spend this video scrolling through the menus and changing the parameters one at a time because like I've said already, you can do that yourself for free with your own guitars at home if you just download the free trial in the description box. What I am gonna do is demonstrate just a bunch of different presets that I've created using the plugin to show you how versatile it is because let's face it, a tweed amp on its own is not that versatile, but with all of the included effects and features of this plugin, it is a really powerful home recording tool. This first preset is called Tele Rhythm. Really creative, I know. It's a sort of Rolling Stones vibe that I was going for here using the rhythm channel of the amp, some slack back delay. No actual reverb, but the room mics are active on the cab, so it kind of feels like there is some reverb going on. Next up is my Strat Edge of Breakup preset that has the rhythm channel volume pushed pretty hard, but I've also pulled back the input by around 5 dB, which is how you can get more clean headroom out of this amp. Because tweed amps, if you're not familiar with them, are known for having a bit less headroom compared to more, let's say, mainstream Fender style amps like a deluxe reverb, for example.
Now let's switch to the lead channel of the amp for my pushed strap preset. This has the volume control dimed, so you're getting this really angry, aggressive, pushed tweed sound that just sounds awesome. expected then to have included compressor and chorus pedals on a plugin like this but hey they have so let's take a listen to some 80s inspired rhythm tones on this next preset and I'll also throw in the overdrive 2 pedal for some chorus drenched lead tones. Now I'm going to have some fun with the delay and reverb pedals to get some nice ambient sounds out of this plugin. Here I've got the rhythm channel dialed in similarly to how I had it set for the edge of breakup tone. So the input control is dialed back again to get more clean headroom. <laughs> If old school R&B is your thing, you might enjoy playing with this next preset, which uses the inbuilt tremolo on the amp and some nice spacious reverb. I don't have an expression pedal with me, but fortunately the wah pedal included has an auto wah feature. So let's take a listen to that. An 
And to compare the overdrives, here's a couple of presets using my Tele, both using the rhythm channel. The first one uses overdrive one, the second uses overdrive two. You'll probably find that overdrive two has a bit more hair to it. presets that I created entirely using the Tone King Imperial Mark II plugin from Neural DSP and just to remind you you can download all of them for free in the description box beneath the video. So if you're someone that's been waiting for a plugin that's great for blues playing in particular, I cannot recommend this one enough. Thank you to Neural DSP for sponsoring another video on this channel and if you're new here thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more and I hope to see you in the next one.